The combination of nivolumab and the anti-lag3 BMS 98616 is probably, from my point of view, one of the most intriguing data from this ASCO. It's the first report of an anti-lag3. We have seen during the last year, lag3 several times mentioned in different presentations. Now we have the data. This is a large phase one trial, not only melanoma, but also in other solid tumor. We enrolled 202 patients in this phase one trial. Now, we reported here the data of a, a court of patients, advanced melanoma patients, 55 patients, previously treated with anti-PD-1, pd one that would fail this kind of treatment. The population was a heavily pro-treated population. The 76% of these patients uh, were treated with the two and more different treatment. The 58% of these treated also with anti-CTL4. 40%, 22 of patients out of the 52 evaluated in this court were refractory patients. So what does it mean? The progression of disease was the best response at treatment with PD-1, PD-1. And the data are really interesting because the response rate in this court of patients defined the pancreatic cancer of melanoma was 13%. It seems to be low, but it's good for this kind of population. And mainly, if you look at the data according to the lag3 expression, in the group of patients with the lag3 more or equal 1%, the response rate was 20%, with several important responses. While in the lag3 negative, less than 1% was 7%. So, this response correlated with the lag3 expressions really interesting for the future because as first these are the first data of a new combination that can overcome resistance then we have a biomarker that probably could predict the patients that can respond and mainly because this is a phase one trial the safety was most important the safety profile was similar to nivolumab monotherapy it's really safe that said at this this year, we will have the data in the naive population that, of course, uh, is also of interest, and we'll see. But this, uh, and not only, we will have also data in the other cohort of patients with lung cancer, head and neck, with gastric cancer, previous treated or naive. We'll see the data, but I think that this is a really promising new combination for the future.